President Biden will visit some of the hardest hit cities devastated by multiple tornadoes today, including Mayfield, Kentucky, as more than 120 people are still unaccounted for. The head of the European Commission says the Omicron variant is set to become the dominant variant in Europe by mid-January, stressing that it seems as if COVID cases are doubling every two to three days. President Biden urging Americans to get vaccinated and to get a booster shot as the U.S. marks more than 800,000 lives lost to the COVID-19 pandemic. Health officials are warning the Omicron variant could spark a new wave of infections, possibly peaking as soon as next month. Canadian government officials are now considering a travel ban to America over fears of the spread of Omicron. Reports say officials will advise its citizens against non-essential travel outside of the country. President Vladimir Putin tells the Chinese president he expects to meet him in person at the Beijing Olympic Winter Games during a video summit today. The two world leaders referring to each other as friends showed solidarity in the wake of pressure from the West concerning Ukraine and Taiwan. The two steadfast in their support of the Winter Games, saying they will not politicize sports. House followed suit early this morning and voted to raise the national debt ceiling by two and a half trillion dollars. Senate voted for the increase on Tuesday. The bill that allows the nation to avoid defaulting on its debt is on its way to President Biden's desk. The House has voted to hold Mark Meadows in contempt of Congress for failing to appear before the January 6th Select Committee. It's now in the hands of the Justice Department to decide whether or not to seek criminal charges against former President Trump's chief of staff. More than 1,200 people had to be evacuated from a high-rise building known as the World Trade Center in Hong Kong early this morning after a fire reportedly sparked in a switchboard on the first floor and spread. 13 people were injured. The building was being renovated. Californians are asked to be careful traveling following powerful storms that swept through and dropping several inches of record rain across the state. Swollen rivers and multiple mudslides have rescue workers working overtime. 11 inches fell in the San Francisco area in 72 hours and more than 8 inches fell in one area of Santa Barbara County. A 40-mile stretch of Highway 1 is closed down indefinitely while road crews repair and clean the lanes. And that's today's 9 at 9.